Hey everybody, it's One Cast One Fish, and today we're going to be talking about a setup the Garmin Striker 4 on your kayak. Deciding you want a fish finder for your kayak can be an intimidating purchase. First, you got to determine what fish finder you want, and secondly, you've got to figure out what accessories and components you're going to need to be able to successfully install that on your kayak. Luckily for you, I'm going to take a lot of the guesswork out of those decisions, so stay tuned. As you probably already know from a lot of my other videos, I'm a big fan of the Garmin Striker 4, especially for kayak fishing. The Garmin Striker 4 comes in three distinct models, and those are reviewed in another video, which you can find a link to in the description and up above. Now at this point, hopefully you've decided on the fish finder that you're going to use for your kayak. Now we're going to talk about probably one of the most intimidating parts of adding a fish finder to your kayak, and that's the rigging, mounting, and accessories that you're going to need to make sure your fish finder is a rock solid performer. To ensure a strong sturdy mount for our fish finder, we need a strong sturdy base. And that's why we're going to use the Ram 1 inch rail mount ball. Now the nice thing about this Ram 1 inch ball mount is not only is it a sturdy mounting base for your fish finder, it's also super easy to install. As it simply slides into your existing track system and tightens down like so. Next thing we're going to add to our 1 inch ball mount is the Ram light duty accessory mount. And this is made specifically for the Garmin Striker 4 and Echo Series fish finders. This ram mount is super easy to install. All we're going to do is loosen it up, slide it right over our 1 inch ball mount, tighten it back down, and we have a very stable mount that we're going to put our fish finder on. At this point we've got our 1 inch ball and our ram mount installed. Now we're going to take our Garmin Striker 4 fish finder and attach it to the mount. And since this mount was made specifically for the Garmin Striker series, it's going to slide on and attach without any issues. You may be wondering why I chose the RAM mounting system for my Garmin Striker 4. As with most kayak accessories, adjustability and adaptability are going to be key. And that's where this RAM mount really shines. With the RAM mount, I have an infinite number of adjustments that I can do to my Garmin Striker 4 fish finder to put it in a better position to stay out of the way of my paddle or other accessories and make it easier for me to get to, manipulate, and see the screen. When it comes to mounting your transducer, there's a few different options. You can purchase an arm that hangs over the side of your kayak and directly into the water. Some kayaks also have the ability to buy an adapter kit to mount your transducer in a scupper hole. However, my preferred method is to simply use duck seal and mount the transducer inside the hull of the kayak. The nice thing about the end hole method is that it keeps everything neat, nice and tidy, and out of the way. Now if you want to learn a little bit more about how to mount your transducer inside the hull of your kayak, be sure to click on the link above or I'm going to also put a link to another video that i done on mounting your transducer inside the hull of your kayak in the description. And the heart powering my kayak fish finder is the Nakwa Pro Power Kit battery which comes in either a 4.4 or 10 amp hour version. I chose the Nakwa Pro Power Kit battery because there's a few things that really set it apart. One of those things is the fact that this battery comes in a great carry case that keeps it safe, but also this battery is 100% coated in silicone and that keeps it sealed from the elements or any water intrusion. Another reason I chose the Nakwa Pro Power Kit battery is the abundance of accessories. One of my favorite accessories for this battery is the Y connector. This Y connector allows me to run multiple accessories at the same time from one battery. This allows me to attach my fish finder power cable and the USB adapter attachment. The Y adapter and USB attachment are must haves in my opinion. And that's because not only now do I have the option to power my fish finder, but with the addition of the USB attachment, I can charge my cell phone, I can charge my action camera batteries, or I can use any other accessory that uses a USB port, which makes it extremely versatile, especially out on the water. I hope this video makes adding a fish finder to your kayak a whole lot simpler. I also hope you enjoyed learning about the fish finder, mounting system, battery, and accessories I use 
for the fish finder on my kayak. If you're interested in any of the items I used on my kayak, I'm going to leave the links to them in the description so you can check them out yourself. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and share. And we'll see you next time on the water.